What up guys, right now I've just finished school. Actually, I have finished at 1.30, which is really great, but I actually spent it time with my friends after school. Right now I'm gonna go home, pound, I'm on my way to Roosevelt Island. I was gonna go to the gym, but right now I don't feel like going to the gym. I feel like I could do something better at Roosevelt Island, but I'm not sure what I could be doing. It looks like this is raining a little, but I hope it doesn't rain that much. But the view is amazing. Manhattan, you see right now. I finally made it to Roosevelt Island. Guess what I found? A workout station. I could have to do a little bit workout here. But I realized they had more machines. Yeah. This, I think some of them were out of order, but they actually fixed it. But it's actually raining a little now. It's actually stopping. I think you guys could probably see it through the camera. It's like a light shower. I'm not feeling this workout. Like you know when you actually do a workout and you feel it like you feel like doing it, like you're motivated and stuff. Right now I'm not motivated or anything. I don't know why. Cause I actually want to do good stuff, but it's not working out right now. I had a clip that I recorded at school. Take a look at it, cause it's actually really funny. All right, hey man. Don't interrupt me when I'm preaching. <laughs> right? So that's gonna happen, right? So you're gonna have a lot of friends. They're all gonna fuck you over. So just prepare for that. Then you may or may not find a girl. When you find a girl, ooh, that's the best one. Cause they're gonna break your fucking heart. And then when they break your heart and you become a scumbag and only wanna fuck dots, then you're the bad guy. So now let's see this. You're gonna be a sophomore. Your grades are gonna be pretty average. You're gonna have a girlfriend. You're gonna have a couple of friends, right? Say junior year. You're gonna be broken up. Your heart's gonna be aching. You're gonna become a drug addict, right? And your grades are gonna be in the 60s and 70s. By the time you hit a senior, you're just gonna give a fuck, right? So you're just gonna do whatever the fuck you want, whenever the fuck you want, with whoever the fuck you want, and then you're gonna get by with a 65.2 average. And then you're gonna go to community college, then you're gonna go to college, then you're gonna get a pretty good job, then you're gonna get a wife, then you're gonna fuck her, have kids, and then you're gonna die. So just, so just, so just comprehend all of what I'm telling you for the next four years and you'll do all right. Just don't be a drug addict, don't be a scumbag, get good grades and that's it. But it's like, that's not gonna fucking happen, so I'm like, It's like, it's like, well, why am I even telling you this shit? It's like, you fuck some thoughts, Alright, and you're no, a pretty good guy. No, no, I no. fuck some thoughts. I know Dallas fuck some thoughts. Augustine, don't even get me started! I don't know. I'll roast you right here. And it's like, it all starts from here. It all fucking starts. So just enjoy yourself, my children. Enjoy yourself. My children. What's going on YouTube? Everything's going up. Look at us. My name's about to shout out his IG. You can like, follow me. And for all your whores, like, I feel bad for y'all. Like, don't, like... Like just say no. Like y'all, like, all y'all ladies, like guys, listen. You're gonna, you're gonna realize that the more, the older you get, the more that porn gets real. Like titties in public, like, like, like bitches, like just sucking a dick in a in a bathroom stall, like that's real. Like prepare, bro. Like it's all real. Like I, this is not fiction. Like, like the Breakfast Club and fucking like shit like that. It's real. Like, everybody's a scumbag. Oh, you didn't record this? <laughs> oh, fuck. This shit is straight facts. Like, like how many girls is here? Like, what, like 15? Like, five of you, like, how? Oh, not even five of you. Two of you are going to be pregnant by senior year or have a kid. That's a fact. One of you is probably going to drop out. Three of you are going to be lesbian. Four of you are never going to talk to a guy because you're ugly. And the other five are going to be whores. Yeah, and that's a fact. Shocked, yeah. like, <laughs> like that is a straight fact. You don't believe me? I will take you to any Cosmo room, and I will point out the thoughts who got kids, who's pregnant, who was pregnant. Like it's straight facts. Like it's fucking high school. And for you guys out there, you end up 
broke as fuck. You know what I mean? These niggas trying to spend all your fucking allowance on one pair of J's to impress. I don't know who the fuck. Hey, that's right? <laughs> 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 You're going to spend all your fucking money on irrelevant shit because you think you look free. Then by the time you come on the junior, you're going to be like, nigga, I wasted a thousand dollars on a pair of Truies and I still ain't got no pussy. <laughs> like, it's not about what you'd wear. It's about how you wear it. Don't spend your fucking money on trues because you ain't gonna get no piece of ass. Ask Omar. <laughs> <laughs> don't spend money on shit that you don't need. All you need to do is spend money on is food and condoms. Like, that's all you fucking need. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, fuck everything else. And loose sleeve. And loose sleeve. And loose sleeve. <laughs> Can't forget the loose sleeve. That ass, yo. Welcome to high school. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many cameras. It's like, you don't think this shit is real? Like, people get, get, get fucked in the staircase. Like, it's happened. Like, we've all, like, I'm pretty sure we all have had an experience in a staircase in this school. Whether it's slipping a finger before fucking gym class, or getting a little, getting your dick sucked before health, like, whatever the fuck case may be, like, shit goes on. Like, it, like the sooner that you're with it, the more you'll better you'll be off. Like, if, instead of learning, let me teach you. Like, girls, like, just be hey, a thought. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm recording like, this too. What is it? Like, everybody's like, because it's straight facts. You can record it's this a, shit and watch this shit later. It's, it's intellectual. It's, it's intellectual. intellectual. It's fucking, like, it's like, like nobody ever gave me this shit when I was a freshman. I'm giving it to y'all. Y'all need to fucking learn. Like, it's just unbelievable. Like, it's just phenomenal. It's fucking high school. Like, that ass. Just fuck whoever you want to fuck whenever you want to fuck them. Right? Girls, being a virgin isn't that impressive anymore. Because we all know that once the, the can gets open, you know, like, it's just, it's just a non-stop. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like once you can stop, you can't stop. It's like once you can you can't stop. So it's like, you can be a virgin forever how long you want, and you still think, like, you won't be a thought. But it's like, once you get it one time, you're going to keep on wanting it. And then you're gonna become a thought. There you go. It's like you're gonna be a thought regardless of what you do. So just be a thought. Wow. Like it's like you could have one you butt. You could touch Instagram somebody's the, yeah. dick. They're still gonna call you a whore. They're still gonna call you a thought. If you, t I guarantee you. What's your name? Yeah, Valerie. I guarantee if you tell your friend right here that you hooked up with Marcos in the staircase. This bitch is going to go to those four bitches and tell them and then next thing you know, everybody in the school is going to know that you hooked up with Marcos in the staircase and then you're going to be a thought. Even though you could be a virgin, you're still going to be a thought because that's how high school is. You could do whatever the fuck you want. Everybody has something to say. You could fucking like cop a pair of Yeezys <laughs> and niggas will like, still yeah, cut yeah, your yeah. ass. Cause you ugly, nigga. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. Like y'all gonna know, y'all gonna learn how to live. Y'all gonna learn what to do. You can't be doing this shit. That can't, nothing clothes. That shit don't matter. All right, clothes. Being a virgin. That shit don't matter. Getting the grades. Getting grades. That shit don't fucking matter. Cause what you don't understand is that when you go to college, like everybody wants you to graduate high school and go to a four-year college. High school is like a two inch dick to like what college is of like a black nine inch. Like that's the difference. It's like you'll go from like writing like five and six pages. Yeah, nigga, you nigga. That's the difference. It's like you go from high school writing like like. Wait, wait, wait. Let me stop you. So what? What's the color in high school? Does it change? Nigga. The color in high school. What do you mean color? You said, you said, I'm gonna turn it to black. Alright, colors, alright, no colors, no racist. No racist. Chantel's gonna be saying this. You wanna say something? It's still black. It's no black. You want to specify them again? You said, okay, high school is this, and then turn to a black. Alright, so just be a big dick. The point is, it's hard as fuck, and you can't take it. Okay, okay, that's good. That's the point. Right, so look. So you're gonna go from writing like five and six page papers, yes you will be, because we writing them and I'm, I'm just a senior, to going to college to writing like theses and fucking papers, and like, like in order to get into college you have to write a ten page paper. Oh shit, nobody told you that shit, right? Yeah, it fucking sucks. So it's like, you're gonna end up going to community college anyway. Cause it's like, community college is a stepping stone to real college. So you're gonna go to community college anyway. So whether you get a 90 average or a 65, if you're still gonna go into Q1 in high school, but get by, 
go to community college, it's get your shit together, and then go to a four-year college and live your life. Because <laughs> you're telling me this Asian motherfucker <laughs> is going to be getting 90 averages for four <laughs> years and not even knowing, like, not even taking a shot of alcohol, never smoked a blunt, never fucking went out and partied, and he's going to go to a four-year college and work his ass off when you could be fucking whoever you want, doing whatever you want, partying on the weekends, and go to community college and get your four-year and still do good. Yeah, because I tell you, I talk, I talk like a motherfucker. I'm teaching y'all, I'm telling y'all, enjoy high school. Because that's all that fucking matters. Bitches, drugs, and money. That's what life is. And nobody seems to realize that shit. And I know you know what I'm talking about. Vegas 06. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> Follow me on the gram at rave double underscore god. I'm rave god and I'm out. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. <laughs> I'm gonna go on World Star featured. Right now, I'm gonna do a bike ride, like a lap around World Star Island because I don't feel like doing nothing. As I'm actually riding here, I realize that this is shut down. Because before, I remember, I think this was a hospital before, but I think this is what they're making. Franklin D. Roosevelt Fort Freedom Park. Yeah. I think they're going to make it nicer and bigger. But this was like a big open space with buildings. And like this whole road is like locked with this. Right now, I think... I'm on my quarter mile and I actually feel the wind. It feels amazing. Oh, I just entered the four wall Roosevelt Light and something like that. Right, yeah. Franklin D. Roosevelt Four Freedom Park. They just recently opened it because whenever I used to come here, it was always closed and it looks amazing. Just actually people taking pictures, I guess, but it looks really, really amazing. Yep, it's actually amazing. You can get deeper into Midtown Manhattan, as you could see the Twin Tower, I think. Yeah, but it's absolutely amazing. I'll try to get up and take a better view. I've never reached this far in this island because it was shut down for several years, probably even. A decade probably but it's absolutely amazing there's actually a structure of Franklin D Roosevelt take a look at it there you have it from nine no, from 1882 to 1945 it's really huge see tell me now this is not amazing it's absolutely amazing. Remember when I went to the piers? Guess what? I could actually see right across it right now. Like a Pepsi Coca Cola sign is right there. You guys see it? Pepsi Coca Cola. I want to come here during the night time. Okay, guys, I made it to the top. But I think it looks better when you're from the bottom for some reason. I don't know why. It looks a lot cooler too when you're in the bottom. But yeah, this is the top. And hold on. It's absolutely amazing. I think there's like... They might be having a cafe here or something. That building right there, I always wondered, is that like a haunted house or something? Because it looks so creepy. Yeah. There, I could see some vandalism going on there. But hold up, let me zoom it in. Yeah, there's some vandalism going in. But it looks creepy because there's nothing in there. Wait, I see grass, what the fuck? Yeah, yep. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks from the top and the bottom. It looks a lot better in the bottom. 
behind me. I'm gonna have to back it up a little. This is the bottom view. And before was the top view. It looks a lot funner because I think because of the angle. But as you go up and you start walking towards um, the other side, you actually start going bottom and leveling up to this side. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. There is a fucking squirrel in front of a lady's lap. What the fuck? How the fuck does that shit happen? I would be terrified because of that shit. And she's not even scared. Okay guys, the haunted house that I was actually talking about is actually a hospital. It's called Small Pot Hospital. I had no idea this was a hospital. Guess this island had a lot of hospitals. Look at it. Write down in the comments if it looks creepy or not. See, it looks like a bandit and everything. There was also there was also a lighthouse that was shut down, but they recently opened. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of ducks. Could you guys see it? You want me to zoom it in? What the fuck? I never seen that much ducks here. I'm not gonna get that close, but yeah, there's so many ducks. Fuck, I'm getting so many mosquito bites. Shit. Yeah, there's like probably at least a hundred ducks. All right, guys, back to the lighthouse I want to show you guys. See, look at this lighthouse. They recently opened it again, but if there's no changes that I know of. It's absolutely amazing. For a second, I'm actually thinking what I said. Is that a duck or a goose? I have no idea. Wait, no. Yeah, it's a goose. Yeah, never mind, guys. Whenever I said duck, it's actually a goose. Sorry. Alright, guys. That's it for today, guys. My camera actually died. So, right now, I'm using my phone to vlog. But, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Right now, guess what? I'm going somewhere else with the ship, guys. See? You guys can see the ship. Hold on. Let me get a better view. Yeah, guys. I'm going. Find a ship. Oh, shit. I'm falling. Yeah. All right, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys the next time. Dreamers, keep dreaming, dreamers.